So welcome back to another episode of 52 Puzzles. Today, as promised, I'm bringing you another Tucker Jones House Tavern Puzzle. I love these tavern puzzles. And this one is called Double Bypass. Uh, this particular puzzle was designed in 1994. As I've mentioned in previous videos featuring these Tucker Jones puzzles, they design a new puzzle every year and they've been doing that since 1983. So they're handmade at their studio in New York State and uh, really quality puzzles. They typically make four different levels of challenge, a basic, intermediate, difficult, and uh, very complex. And this double bypass puzzle is considered their difficult level, meaning that the, uh, you know, the tolerance thresholds are, are, are very minimal, very little tolerance. Uh, and that the movements to solve this puzzle have to be precise. Indeed, this was a difficult puzzle. This took me about, oh, 45 minutes to solve this puzzle. And uh, that's only because I, I have a pretty significant collection of Tucker Jones Tavern puzzles. So I'm familiar with how some of these movements work when I see something like this. Um, for most people, it may, if you've never seen a tavern puzzle like this before, you know, good solution time might be in excess of uh, an hour or more. So the double bypass, I'm going to show you the solution to this puzzle. Um, if you don't want to see the solution, then I encourage you to turn off the video now. But if you would like to see it, hang in there. Here it comes. Okay, so the solution to the double bypass puzzle goes like this. Um, this is the piece, the heart-shaped piece, that's where this double bypass name comes from. Uh, the puzzle is how do you disengage this piece from this contraption? So it is pretty complex. Uh, there are two primary steps. The first is to get this heart uh, to this level here. So out of this device and sort of hanging free of this on this piece here. And then the second step is to uh, remove it from, the, from this device entirely. Uh, so the first step is the harder of the two steps. The second step is actually pretty easy. Uh, so the first step here is we're going to um, take this top piece, you see it moves freely in this U-shaped piece that has these two eyes, and then this U-shaped piece also with these two eyes. So this little notch here, you do want to have that facing toward you or facing down. Um, that is going to be necessary, as you'll see as we get into this, uh, for for movement. If it's up, it's not going to give you quite the same tolerance here, and that's going to create some problems. So, throughout the solution to this puzzle, you want to try to have that uh, that piece facing toward you. By the way, this puzzle is not that easy to solve laying down on the table here. So I apologize in advance. Um, it would be much easier to hang this and solve it uh, from a hanging position, but I'm just not set up to do that. So first step is to take this heart and I'm going to call this the, the center of the heart. This is the piece that's going to do a lot of the work. You, you want to pass this center of the heart, step one, through this eye in this bottom U-shaped piece from the inside out. And it doesn't matter, by the way, which side you choose to, to solve it. Uh, you can do it this direction or this direction. But if you're going to go in this direction, all of the steps have to continue in that direction. I'm going to take this going in this direction. So first step is to uh, pass this uh, center of the heart 
through this middle loop here. Like that. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, and then what we're going to do is turn this heart so that the bottom of the heart is coming up over the um, uh, this top piece here, this eye piece. And really what we're, what we're wanting to do is bring the center of the heart, that open area, up over this eye piece. So we've come through this ring here at the bottom. We're now coming up and over, okay? So next step is to bring, again, that center of the heart around this top, this larger U-shaped piece, this eye. So we're gonna bring it around the back so that it goes like this, okay? And then once we do that, um, if I remember right here, so once we do that, oh yeah, on, on both sides, by the way. So I did it from that side and then I do it again from the front, okay? And then I'm bringing this back over the same eyepiece, okay? So now, see, and this is where I'm, what I'm talking about when I say the tolerances are really, uh, really slim. Wait, did I do that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So back over. Seems like it shouldn't be that tight. Okay, wait a minute. So I brought that up over around. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. And then back through. And this bottom piece has to be sort of angled there to, to allow the middle of that heart to get further enough, further up in this direction to get back over that loop there. Okay, so that has come over. Now we push it all back through. And you know, you may have to wiggle it on these, the, the difficult level and the uh, complex level, this is what you're going to get. It's very tight and uh, sometimes it requires wiggling these pieces to get them to, to move. Uh, so this, I'm, try I'm trying to push this heart back into the middle here. There we go. Okay, so now what I've done, I'll set this aside, is I've disengaged the heart from this bottom shackle piece. Okay, so it's not, it's not in this loop anymore. Now it's just hanging freely from this larger U. That was the hard part. <laughs> okay, so now the easy part. This, again, we're dealing with the center of this heart, is going to pass through this loop on the larger piece. Like this. And as we do that, we're going to come under this, this top piece here, which, by the way, I'm supposed to be like that. So we're going to come under, like you see here, and then simply slide that back through that eye, and there you have it. The puzzle is disengaged, or the heart is disengaged. So that really is, uh, that's, that's it. It is, you know, it's not an easy puzzle by any stretch of the imagination. And again, you saw how some of those pieces were, uh, you know, really tight. And that is typical for these more advanced level challenges with the Tucker Jones puzzles. 
um, there, uh, you know, there's just not a lot of tolerance. So uh, to put this back in, it's the same thing. I'm just going to bring it back through there. And so we're back on that piece. And then again, this, this um, getting it back to this bottom piece is a little tricky and it's hard to see on camera, but I'm going to basically follow the same steps. So I'm going to come through this piece here. No, I'm sorry, that's disengaging it. <laughs> oh boy. All right, there we go. I'm going to come back through this bottom one, through the middle. Again, having to go and, and put it through this top loop, I have to move this bottom piece up to give it some room to do that. And uh, then that pushes through and comes again over this eye. So the middle of the heart, I'm trying to get over that eye there. So hopefully that's going to work. There we go. Okay, so that's come through. Uh, we come back through here and I do have to come around that, that eye like we did in the in the disengagement but if I remember right that is done like this yeah so we come back through that and then come back over and we're back on this bottom and then back through and we're back on the bottom so there you have it. I know that was not easy to follow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's uh, these puzzles are just they're hard to uh, to demonstrate on the video camera. So I apologize for that. But I will tell you, if you don't have a Tucker Jones House tavern puzzle in your library, your your collection of puzzles, visit their website and uh, and get one. They really are great puzzles. Um, and again, they make four different levels of challenge. They're so well made. These things really are bulletproof. They will last for generations and, um, they're one of my favorites. So this was the double bypass puzzle and, um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe on my new channel. 52 puzzles and it's my intention to bring you a new puzzle every week so thanks for tuning in i'll look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>